what's going on everyone it's marcellus back with another video and we have to go over dogecoin here today so yes we are stabilizing after we had this huge jump in dogecoin and this huge dump uh, no not dumb this was not a dump but yeah this huge jump here was all from elon Musk doing this tweet here working with the developers to improve system transaction and efficiency with dogecoin and i i talked about this in my previous video and i just wanted to kind of do an update on the chart here so we kind of stabilized here on a chart and we're now on an uptrend here so we're gonna reach one dollar faster than expected honestly i feel like elon Musk may go on a hype train where he's just gonna hype those up like not not like as much as he did before you know how he did back to back to back you know with saturday night live but over time i really believe we're gonna go on a really big you know roller coaster ride way uphill so this is gonna be a lot of growth here inside of dogecoin honestly right now i'm kind of expecting for elon Musk to kind of you know take a step back from dogecoin because right here he said as always don't panic so i feel like he's gonna go on a hiatus from dogecoin and he may not talk about it for a little while which will make it drop a little bit so if this is the case we could end up you know just kind of stabilizing continue to uh, you know have small growth half our little uh support and our little resistance that we're, that we're trying to break we got all the way up here to 58 cents that is a lot of growth we went so high and then we just came right back down but honestly dogecoin is on the way up and just this little news that we got is just sent us to the moon and we're going to continue to rise as you can see after we started to stabilize we hopped right back on that trend line right after we started to stabilize we hopped right back on the original trend line before we started breaking out with all that stuff so that's how you can tell this is this is growth that we are definitely riding like this isn't like random growth is what i'm trying to say like we did not just jump here all the way up here because of the tweet and then just randomly sustain like that for no reason we did that because that's how these trend lines happen like when we have these random you know buy-ins these are i'm not saying they're unnecessary but these are they're not natural so when it happens it usually ends up dropping just as fast as it jumps and it usually ends up stabilizing right back to our trend line so yeah we consolidated right back to our trend line and we're kind of go all the way up here and look at this this is going to be the moment of truth when we reach all the way up here back to our 54 55 cent range because that will determine whether or not we take a huge jump and a huge leap back up to 60 cents that is really what we need in dogecoin dogecoin back at 60 cents that is what we need let's look at our market cap here so yeah, actually let's go back look over here at this dogecoin is now number four so we passed xrp again and we're also past cardano again so that is pretty cool that dogecoin is number four again like 62.5 billion dollar market cap 19.8 billion dollar 24 hour trading volume 11 percent in 24 hours dogecoin is doing significantly better than a lot of the cryptos and the fact that we're back at number two is really good and remember in order to have one dollar dogecoin we need 129 billion dollar market cap and we aren't that far away from it honestly let's let's be completely honest look we're we're at 63 billion dollars so if you kind of think about it 129 billion dollar market cap and 63 billion dollars like we're all we need is really another you know whole thing of our market cap which is 66 billion which is a lot of money but over time that's nothing like i said two months give those coins two to three months those coins will be at one dollar no problem honestly we're gonna blow through june like it's nothing blow through july like it's nothing by august i'm expecting those coins to be at about a dollar this is gonna be crazy by august we're all gonna have so much money and uh, i don't want to you know you know continue to pump it and you just you know continue to pump 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 but i'm really being honest here like i really do believe those coin is going to continue to go up but remember i'm not a financial advisor this is not financial advice i'm just trying to you know put this in perspective like elon musk is so big on dogecoin for a reason honestly i really do believe that he thinks that it will go to the moon and that he is actually trying to bring it to the moon but yeah, this trend line, it looks like we're trying to break the trend line here. So if we continue to go down here on this trend line, and this will this will be, you know, like short term. But if we do continue to go down on it, on it then we could possibly, you know, we could possibly trend back down to, like I said, around 40 cents or so. But remember, if we do take another downtrend, remember what Elon Musk said. Don't panic as always. You already know what he's talking about. He's he knows those is about to take a dip. Look, 
Even Matt Wallace says Elon Musk is signaling that panic selling Dogecoin is never a good idea. And people are going to panic sell when they see it drop. But honestly, that was unnatural growth. He tweets and then it goes up huge. And then obviously it's going to drop because that was not natural. It did not grow naturally. People came in because they were because they wanted to see a temporary bag. They came in so then they can make a quick flip and they took the money right out. People see those profits. They take the money right out. That's what they wanted out of it. And that's why the money goes up whenever he tweets because really big investors put their money right in at the peak right there or not in at the peak but you know right in before the peak and they create the peak and then they sell out but really honestly it looks like we're coming back we're coming back to the trend line but yeah i hope we don't go on this downtrend i hope we break this and then come right back to our normal trend line here because this is what we need for dogecoin to continue to go up so yeah come back right here at this trend line and then you know continue to grow here remember crypto is really volatile it can do anything it can go up down left right anything but yeah dogecoin is doing pretty good right now and we have been trending for most of the day here on dogecoin but amc kind of took the shine they say the amc to the moon so amc is taking the shine for dogecoin right now but that doesn't really matter let's go ahead and uh leave these charts alone and let this chart continue to fluctuate hopefully we don't go down too much but like i said we may just continue to drop down to our lower levels but honestly we're not gonna go too low we always had good support around here around 43 cents 40 cents we're gonna read we're gonna do good we're not gonna go below 40 cents i don't believe so but remember i'm not a financial advisor it's not financial advice let's go over here and look at our total supply here so look at this we are at 129 billion circulating supply that means that we are going to be at one dollar when we get 129 billion dollar market cap so in order to get 129 billion dollar market cap we need more whales we need more people putting in more money with dogecoin we need less people taking out money with dogecoin and we need like we need whales to stop doing so many selling orders as you can see these whales over here are always buying and selling a lots lots of uh dogecoin but honestly dogecoin can get to the moon so let's go over here and look up uh dogecoin developers our dogecoin developer or not our developer but you know the dogecoin official site i haven't been to the dogecoin official site in a while but one dogecoin equals one dogecoin this is what i wanted to get at here one dogecoin equals one dogecoin we are going to reach one dollar it's just inevitable and also elon musk working on dogecoin right now is going to just send dogecoin to the moon like this is crazy you can get you can choose your wallet here you can get the multi doge you can get the doge core like come on everybody needs to be up in on dogecoin this is like the most craziest investment that you can get in on. People just think it's a joke, but no, Dogecoin is going to the moon. I am 100% in on Dogecoin. So let's continue to see what we are doing here. We have so many different whales buying and selling. So yeah, this is why our price gets dri driven down so heavy. That's why Elon Musk continues to press on people and he continues to say, do not panic. Do not panic because the whales are trying to manipulate the market. We see this every day. Like we're trying to go on this positive trend line, but as you can see, we're getting more sell orders than buy orders. Look at these candlesticks. We're getting way more sell orders than our buy orders right here. So when we zoom in on these candlesticks, we can see our sell orders are much more significant. They're way bigger and they're coming way more often, way more frequent than our buy orders. Our buy orders are way smaller. As you can see, we had some huge uh, buy-ins here and we had huge selling afterwards. So right now we are trying to get back right here to this top. But it looks like even though we're um, downtrending, we're at the top of the downtrend line. So we're not, it's not like we're just plummeting all the way down to the bottom of the trend, like the long term trend line. Remember about the long term trend line. The long term trend line is all, all the way down here. So in theory, we were always projected to continue to go down here, like in theory, because when we jumped up here that high, that was unnatural growth. So uh, you just go at a little 45 degree angle and you kind of think, like, boom, like, you know, it's kind of it's kind of obvious that we were going to go down, but we are going to go right back up, though, because it's just what Doge does. Every time we do this in Doge, we do the same thing every single time. We pump huge. We go down right after, but then we start to slowly rise up after that pump. And it's just what we always see inside of Dogecoin. So I'm not even surprised that we're doing this. And honestly, just seeing all these sell orders coming in. I mean, it's predicted here. But look at this. We are trying to fight it back with some positive buying. Let's see if we can have any whales here.
buying at the moment right now so yeah we had whales buying uh all day today really this is 521 yeah these whales are buying so much money inside of dogecoin it's crazy but yeah let's get off the whales here we always have to know what the whales are doing because they really they really you know kind of generate the uh large amount of market cap but yeah that's what i'm trying to say they really own much of our market cap so a lot of it so here we see don't panic do not panic sell i was trying to look for like a doge themed meme here like these kind of look like doge eyes and then i was like eh, maybe not i don't know it could be doge eyes i don't know look at that this could be those eyes that says don't panic but yeah he's probably doing some subliminal thing you know elon Musk always does this it's crazy but yeah those coin is going to continue to go to the moon we just got to continue to hold it those coin is going to make millionaires in the future it's already made millionaires but it's going to make even bigger bigger millionaires once it gets to one billion you know market cap and honestly those coin at one big billion market cap let's just be real here in order for dogecoin or not 1 billion trillion i mean in order for dogecoin to get to 1 trillion market cap 1 trillion market cap would put dogecoin all the way at um it would put dogecoin at ten dollars so a ten dollar dogecoin can happen but that will be the future future but remember what Do what elon musk is talking about he's talking about putting a lot of money through dogecoin so ten dollar dogecoin is not out of the picture like we're definitely getting a hundred dollar or one dollar dogecoin 100 percent and then our ten dollar dose point is also going to come over time and we kind of see this what he's saying look energy usage trended over the past few months like he's really been favoring doge over uh bitcoin for a while look he says do you want tesla to accept doge and then right after that what does he say he's no longer having bitcoin being transacted with tesla so they're gonna start accepting doge and a lot of money is gonna flow through doge just like you've seen a lot of money flow through bitcoin i want to i want to make something apparent here look at this 926 billion we almost had 1.1 trillion so a whole 100 billion dollar market cap just disappeared out of thin air a whole hundred actually no 150 billion or 175 billion so yeah 175 billion dollars just disappeared from bitcoin because of the transactions that were happening through tesla and people just sold out so imagine this same thing being with dogecoin 175 billion dollars 175 billion dollars plus our 63 billion dollar market cap think about that 175 billion dollars plus our 63 billion dollar market cap that brings us to 238 billion dollars 238 billion dollars that's crazy right there so we we're gonna do crazy things here inside dogecoin honestly i'm not worried not one bit i know dogecoin is gonna continue to shoot to the moon we know dogecoin is gonna continue to grow here but let's divide this by our 129 billion uh circulating supply that brings us to a dollar 84 cents once we get that same growth that we just lost here in bitcoin and that is all the transactions going through tesla so that is really big a dollar and 84 cents i mean i'm just gonna set it in stone why not uh next year by this time may dollar 84 cents boom that's where we're going dollar 84 cents by may this time next year yeah i definitely see that definitely a dollar before the end of next year i honestly see a dollar within the next two months but remember if we do get a dollar within the next two months we'll most likely dip back down to 80 cents and then have a while consolidating around 80 cents and then we'll do another jump and we'll go up and up and then we'll have the next consolidation around like a dollar then the next consolidation around a dollar 20 cents so this is what we can see with dogecoin going on in the future so i definitely see the future of dogecoin being big and look we just now broke that negative trend line we're trying to get right back up to our positive so we're having more buy orders here so I'll hopefully we can get right back up to that positive trend line so then we can get out of this negativity range but remember anything can happen at this point at this point we're just hoping that you know dogecoin just skyrockets really so uh yeah even just straight we can even just straighten it out it could continue to go down honestly anything can happen at this point but we hope that it will go up for the best but over time we know it's going to go up over time so that is all that really matters like elon musk said do not panic do not panic so as always do not panic sell because it's always a regretted sell so looking at dogecoin for the last year or no for the last um month let's look at dogecoin for the last month 
so we can see when whenever we drop like whenever we have these huge dips we kind of trade sideways for like the next 10 to 20 days and not not 20 days all right that's about 10 days so yeah like the next 10 days we usually trade sideways so like we had this jump around may 9th right it hasn't been 10 days yet so think about that it, has, it hasn't been 10 days so from the 9th till now it's been about four days so we have about six more days till we start to really have huge growth in doge so inside of six days i'm calling it we're gonna have huge growth inside doge so just 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 know that so yeah huge growth six days and uh let's just go ahead and look at this remember i'm not a financial advisor this is not financial advice but yeah six days i'm calling it because it was kind of the same thing back here same thing with uh you know look at when, how doge day did and then we had the saturday night live thing we came all the way up here and now we're kind of going six more days yeah that's how we're gonna look at it but it's all in what we continue to do because right now remember if it is six days that means that we could go down for a little longer so we may not just shoot up from here we may go down and consolidate like maybe around here around 43 45 cents because that is where we were at right before we started jumping and having all that growth we were around 45 cents 43 cents so anything can happen so yeah now that we got all this out of the way we got all the technical analysis out, out of the way let's get like the hopeful the hopeful point of view out the way so being very hopeful here with dogecoin let's think about what we can really do here realistically with dogecoin so think about this if we continue to even go down this let's just say that we continue to go down and elon musk is right and he's saying don't panic because he knows it's going to go down right let's just say we go all the way back down to the bottom of our long-term trend line so boom now we're at the bottom of our long-term trend line and let's just say hypothetically that from this long-term trend line that we go up on another trend line so boom we go up on another one and it looks similar to this and then we come back because we had a huge jump and then it goes something like that each and every time we do this each and every time we do this we consolidate at a higher price so every time we have these jumps we consolidate even higher so like you can kind of see how we had the jump and then you know we start to consolidate we start to go down and we have this jump and then boom we start to go down we start to go down and we may have another jump that kind of do, does the same thing but yeah doge has been doing this for like the last few days but we can't be too mad because remember saturday night live when that happened it shook up the whole whole doge economy so that is kind of how we're training here with doge honestly dogecoin will reach one dollar really soon and dogecoin will reach ten dollars but remember i'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice but yeah, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, and subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comment section. If you think Doge is going to go down in the long term or in the short term, or if you think it's going to go up in the short term. But honestly, in the long term, we already know what's going to happen in the long term. So what we're trying to do here is predict the short term. We're trying to find out, are we going to continue to go down in the short term? Or are we going to continue to go to go up in the short term? So the short term is what really matters here. We know that we're going to go up in the long term. So we just need to continue to follow these trends, continue to see where we are going. But yeah, if you liked this video, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, and check out the link in the description. And I'll be back with another video. Peace.